here we are given two functions f and j defined such as f of 1 is equal to a let's write it down f of 1 is equal to a f of 2 equal to b f of 3 equal to c and another function g is defined such that g of a equal to apple g of b is equal to ball and finally g of c is equal to cat we are asked to find uh, we are asked to find show that f g and u f are invertible so what i try to do is i'll try to find the inverse of f g and u f and by finding the inverse uh, we indirectly prove that uh, they are invertible to find inverse of f let's say there is inverse f f inverse and uh, then we get if there is an inverse f inverse of f of x must be equal to x so that implies f inverse of f of x is like let's say f of 1 f inverse of f of 1 must be equal to 1 but here it's f inverse of a f inverse of a is equal to 1 similarly we get f inverse of b is equal to 2 and f inverse of c is equal to 3 now let's try to find g inverse now g inverse becomes g inverse of g of x must be equal to x so that in that implies g inverse of a let's say g of a that is apple so g inverse of apple is equal to a similarly we get g inverse of ball is equal to b and g inverse of cat is equal to c now let's try to see if these are actually uh, inverses or not so what happens is f inverse of f let's try to check for f inverse of f of x so before checking i might change the color of my pen okay now f inverse of f of let's say 1 then that will become f inverse of a this is equal to 1 so it's test for f so f is inversible invertible and similarly g of g of uh, a is equal to g inverse of apple this is equal to a again so g is also inversible because we found the inverse function which satisfies it now let's try to find the inverse function of gof before doing that let's find gof gof of 1 becomes g of a that is equal to apple so g gof of uh, 2 becomes ball and similarly gof of 3 becomes cat now inverse of this will be g inverse g of f whole inverse g of f whole inverse will be equal to this will work on as you can see f let's say there f x from a to b here a is set of 1 2 3 and b is set of a b c and this axons uh, g x and b and uh, maps from b to c so c is given uh, by apple ball and cat so here g o f acts from a to c so g inverse of it acts from c to a before finding that out okay now this whole thing is some function 
is equal to x inverse let's say let gyf is equal to x then x inverse of x of uh, gyf x on one set of 1 2 3 so uh, of 1 must be equal to 1 that in place x inverse of x of 1 is given by apple so this must be equal to 1 so we get x inverse defined such so that x inverse of apple is equal to 1 x inverse of ball is equal to 2 and x inverse of cat is equal to 3 so this is gyf inverse let's see if what this is equal to and uh, in question it is asked to show that this is equal to f inverse of g inverse so let's find f inverse of g inverse uh, before doing that let's try to find out if it's that possible or not f inverse acts from set of a b c to set of 1 2 3 and G inverse acts from set of uh, G inverse act, G inverse acts from set of apple ball and cat to set of ABC. So in order for G inverse sorry F inverse of G inverse to act we have to write it in this order so that you can understand better apple ball cat set then first x g inverse and images fall in the set a b c then x f inverse and images fall in set of 1 2 3 and this from a set of apple ball and this to this goes f inverse of g inverse similarly x inverse also goes from x inverse which is g of g of f of uh, inverse also acts from this to this this is g of f full inverse but let's try to find if both are equal f inverse of g inverse of apple will be equal to so first we are trying to find f inverse of g inverse of apple this is equal to f inverse of g inverse of apple is a and f inverse of a is 1 which is equal to g of f inverse uh, apple so in f for element apple if they both turns out to be same similarly we have to test for all the elements f inverse g inverse of ball will be equal to f inverse of b this is equal to 2 and it's same in the case of ball to into ball Let's try to test for the final element g f inverse inverse of cat. This is equal to f inverse of c, which is equal to 3. This is g of f of inverse cat. They are equal in all the cases, so that means finally we concluded saying f in g of f whole inverse is equal to f inverse of g inverse